Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. We're in the second week. Five projects a week for five weeks. 25 projects coming out to you. We've had the first five. We're into week two now. So this project, funny story, I had on my list of things I want to make. So I have this notebook that I absolutely love. Thank you, Vista Print. And I write down my notes of things that I want to do. And generally what I do is I write my list of stuff I want to do and then I expand on it. So I pull in, so I, you know, I've written a title there and then I make it bigger by colours and stuff like that. And so this is my note that I scribble ideas in. And apparently my son practices his signature. Anyway, I had on this somewhere, where is it? Cutlery holder. And I thought that's what I'm going to put into the advent countdown. So I came up with this and I thought I could fit cutlery in there. Didn't test it. You can fit cutlery. It works with mine because I've got, and I should have brought some up, I've got cutlery that's got thin barrel handles as opposed to flat cutlery, which, you know, a lot of people have. So I kind of thought, let's reassess this. So by pure fluke, it perfectly fits a five pound note. What were the chances of that? Now, I realise that, you know, five pound notes are kind of unique to the UK. So it fits a five pound note absolutely perfectly. You don't even need to put the slidey thingy in it. It will just fit like that. Although, of course, oh, actually, it won't fall out. But I did. Where did I put my 20 pound note? British money is different sizes to each other. So that's a five and that's a 20 pound note. Aren't they pretty colours? Anyway, so it will work if you adjust your sizes um, for the ribbony bit it does work you can fit in so I've what I did with my 20 pound note is I concertina it that way pop it in there and it still works so it will work no matter what size your currency is might have to adjust the ribbons but yeah I couldn't believe that I was like look what were the chances of that that a five pound note would fit perfectly trella don't you just like don't you just love accidental crafting not like love <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to make it and obviously like I say if you do have narrow handled cutlery I think it's probably the best way to describe it narrow handled like me it will work if you've got flat cutlery perhaps not but you know what have a go anyway and see if your cutlery fits or your or your money in your country fits because you know what it only uses a six by six piece of paper that's all it uses so it's not like you're using up a whole sheet to practice right six by six 15 by 15 centimeters on the long side score it at one and five eighths of an inch and four and three eighths of an inch which in metric is four and eleven centimeters turn it to one side and score it at I was meant to do the red side Oh well, it doesn't matter. Score it at one inch, which is two and a half centimetres. We'll just burn it. I'll burnish it to show the red side. I wanted to do a different colour, you see. Green, red. I love the Twelve Tidings suite. At first glance, I thought, oh, it's just red and green and vanilla. But the more I've played with it, the more I have fallen for it, I think is probably the best way to say it. I have... I have fallen in love with the paper. It's gorgeous. Okay, grab a circle punch. I'm looking. My All my punches are on a shelf in front of me. I'm just going to get the one I, is closest to me. And I want to put a little half circle in there. So I'm lining up my score lines. I've got a... There you go. You, those two score lines. And I'm lining this up in the middle of them. But I'm obviously going to have to tip it so I can see. Just to get a little notch out there. So that's the first thing. And then with a pair of snips, yeah, you can't see any different either side. This section here, I'm going to angle in there and there. So it's just at an angle and then cut these bits away and angle a little bit there. Not too much. And a little bit there. And that's really just to help when you fold it all together. What that will do is it will tuck up and there's not going to be any resistance at this point but it will fold over nicely like that so that's cute okay so run some tear and tape down one side and the other oh I 
just had a really good idea of another advent countdown project. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, yes, light bulbs going off. I'm not going to tell you about it, you're going to have to wait and see. <laughs> I have. This is what happens when I craft. People often say, how do you come up with so many ideas, Sam? Well, the more I think, the more I craft and the more I play, the more ideas come to mind. Okay, so, yes, oh, flash of inspiration happened then. Very vanilla car stock in the Twal Christmas. And I want just the branch. I don't want the cardinal. I just want the branch uh, because I want to keep it simple. And I want to keep it great for a guy, great for a girl, great for a mum, great for a dad, great for a grandparent, great for anybody. Okay, so I'm going to grab that and I want oh, crumb cake. And I've got my big shot on a stool to my right and I can get past it. So crumb cake ink. I really need to sort my desks out and make them a bit more stable. I did something the other day and I was watching the video back and the whole thing was shaking, the whole table was. I think it was doing big shot work, which I'm about to do. Um, I have the IKEA Linmon Alex set up, but my goodness, it's not a steady table. Brilliant, size-wise, not steady at all. Okay, this also comes with the Christmas Cardinal dies. You do not want to know how long I spent looking for 12 Christmas dies. I have all of my dies. Um, in alphabetical order, in a fridge bin of all things, in alphabetical order. Spent ages looking for Twilight Christmas, couldn't find it. Then I realised it's not called that, it's called Christmas Cardinal. <laughs> Anybody else like me? <laughs> oh dear. Right. I'm using my magnetic platform um, and I've got a really mucky look at the state of that. That was where I did all my customer gifts the other week. Um, clear plate, not so much the clear. The shape that fits round these. And you line it up so that there's no, well, I'd say white edge, but you know what I mean, vanilla edge to it. Plate on the top. Um, have I got a scrap of cardstock handy? Oh, not exactly a scrap, but I want to make a shim. So this will do. I hope we get a new die cutting machine soon. I've had to work very hard with my big shot the entire time I've had it. Um, so I'm looking forward to the new one. So there we go, that's all cut out. Now the reason I haven't coloured it in first is um, because of my temperamental big shot, occasionally things jump, so I didn't want to spend ages beautifully colouring it for them to then jump and have to do it all over again. Okay, so with this suite, the colours that are in it are real red and garden green. So, oh, I can move my big shot now. So I'm getting my two inks, real red and garden green, and I'm going to get my... Wink of Stella, and you've seen me perhaps do this before. Where I'm going to poke is into the side. I'm not going on the top, I'm going into the side because it's foam, and I've picked up a bit of ink on the tip of my brush, and I'm going to sweep that where the green leaves are. And I don't mind if it fades a little. I'll go back in and it's like I'm kind of poking it poke to pick the ink up and that's how I'm doing my colouring but you, there's this lovely sort of glittery look well not sort of glittery look it is a glittery look because of Wink of Stella and it just gives a really pretty finish and I'm going to swipe that off on here to clean it up so I can put that one away come and do the same with my red and do these lovely berries you could leave them white we could call, pretend they're mistletoe they probably should be white thinking about it because there's you know there's not a holly leaf in sight and I'm, I'm colouring holly berries <laughs> that was instinct oh Christmas berry shape must be holly berries it's mistletoe isn't it oh wake up Samantha did anybody else instinctively want to colour these in red please tell me I'm not alone 
say that you did too, please. <laughs> or just say, no, you were the only one, Sam. So, <laughs> so they're coloured in. <laughs> I'm going to swipe that off because I want that to be completely clean. And I'm just going to come down the branch of the what is clearly obviously mistletoe and because I want the glitter just to carry on there as well you can't see it at this stage but I bring it up and hope I'm, am I on autofocus yes I think you can probably see it down on these ones best of all and the shimmer is lovely oh there you go you can see it brightening this one very pretty right so Mm. Oh, I appear not to have bought the golden green. Oh, oh yes I did. There it is. Oh, but it's got white edge on it. No. I was thinking I'll put the, the green on, but it's it's well, it's not white white. Yeah, we'll do that. It's okay. I like to do opposing colours. I like to show you what how it would look if you used a different colour. So I'm gonna use a square knot on there. off the ends and a couple of mini glue dots behind these three larger sections here and that's enough to keep it in place and then get my 20 pound note which we're going to put in this one and what I did is I eyeballed the length and doubled it Oops. And then some linen thread, which was right here. Some of my purse, I brought my purse up so I could get my notes out of it. Um, I don't have very many notes. Didn't have a ten pound note. I'm really annoyed. I've got everything but a ten pound note. What have I? Oh, I have. <laughs> I've got a ten pound note. I've got all the colours. Um, okay. Yep, yeah, ten pound note's going to work too. Well, they're all going to work, but actually the £10 note is just a sm I think it's just going to be a smidge too long and a smidge too wide. But yeah, perfect for a £5 note. Concertina, whichever note you're going to use, or notes, I'm not that generous. Uh, <laughs> I have lots of nieces and nephews. Um, be a great tip for a hairdresser or somebody that you give a tip to. Again, you know, it's not... The whole tips thing is not a big thing in, in the UK. Um, and do you know what? I can't get that to stay shut right now. And I want to get you crafting. I don't want you sitting here watching me do battle with a piece of ribbon. Um, but yeah, anybody that you want to give money to, but you don't want to just hand over money or stick it in an envelope, this, you know, the boring white envelope, or tucked inside a card. I still now, at the grand old age of 45, open a card and you know I might take a little glance just you know there might be a, a note in there you never know okay so that's in there and I'm just going to pull it to tighten it so that it's not going to fall out there we go slide that in there and then trim off however much I don't want that is so cool like I say, perfect for a £5 note, but you, you can see what I've done there. I've folded it, and it works just as well. Or like I say, the original plan had been for cutlery. Doesn't You know, when I make my lists of plans and things I want to do and things I want to make, they don't always translate. I'm just kind of having a look here. Um, mostly I've done them. Large man's gift. Okay. I haven't made a large man's gift box. I made a small one. You'll see it soon. Anyway, <laughs> thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.